Former Minister Mervyn Silva attended a program organized to pay floral tributes to the statue of Gunga Legoda Banda in Paliagoda. Former Governor, President's Council Maitri Gunaratna also attended this program. During this event, Mervyn Silva expressed views regarding upcoming political programs. <laughs> I will give a promise today for the future, and that is, I am telling President Ranil Vikramasinghe, we are also old friends in the party, and I was also done wrong because of him, but that is okay, we all lost, he also lost. Gotabe Rajapaksa was appointed to cover up all the Rajapaksa's crimes and advocate for them. Even when I was a cabinet minister, I always said that Basil Rajapaksa is a thief. They all colluded and appointed a president to ensure their survival. I'm revealing to the country and the world if this government robs all our resources and sell to a foreign country, the first step of our political party when we are elected will be to protect and reclaim our country's resources. And we will also punish the people responsible for the selling of our resources from the president to every other signatory. Secondly, I am from Beliatta and so are the Rajapaksas. They did not have money. My uncle is the one who spent on them. Now they are millionaires abroad. I am telling the Rajapaksas, you have been proven guilty before the Supreme Court, but your punishments are still pending. Our second principle is that not only the Rajapaksas, we have received a list of people responsible for the destruction of the country. We will bring all of them to justice. We are warning them to be ready because they will be punished not in Valikada but in Manar. Thirdly, I am respectfully asking. I was a member of parliament for 20 years and for my luck, Basil Rajapaksa did not give me nomination. Under the guise of parliamentary privileges, they are insulting the respected judges, lawyers, doctors, professors, as well as the politicians and the common people who are angry with them. This has now become a pattern which needs to stop. I'm going to bring a proposal to Parliament that when we come to power, we will punish everyone responsible for all of this misconduct. This government has come again and is increasing taxes to an unbearable level, hiding behind the guise of the IMF. Today, the people are struggling to eat one meal a day. They have lost all hope. There is hatred towards all 225 members of parliament. All the political parties have contributed to the bankruptcy of this nation. The people asking for a new political force.